this is a dirty render of iPhone 4G. I'll be modeling this phone, uh, but I'll be going very quickly because I don't have much time. Uh, YouTube gives only 15 minutes uh, video upload maximum time. So let me do it quickly. Um, so just for your information, you can see um, this model, how complex was it? A uh, lot of things, you know, as in uh, wireframe, a lot of stuff, or how the cuts and holes were made, how the mesh was running. Okay, let's do clean stuff. Uh, I take the camera, press M into the into different layer, delete this box, press X, Dell. Okay. Shift A, plane. I pull it here. Tab key, first. Shift key, second. Okay. Now press A, deselect all, edit mode only, control R, left click and I try to take this loop somewhere here, um, control R, inside this area I have a loop, I make it 3 by rolling the middle mouse button, deselect all by pressing A, control R, again vertical um, loop uh, roll the mouse three of them click press A I take the top view so it's the numpad 7 or FN7 in uh, laptop uh, I'll make a cut here I'll delete this vertex now I need a before that sorry before that now I'll press shift s 3d cursor to this place um, I'll delete this vertex so it's a cut I'll place a circle here shift a um, circle I'll make it 8 the number of vertices reduce the size much and now I'll start joining the press a, I'll start joining the uh, vertices to the to this vertices of the circle so this way I'll start joining okay so I first click the this this vertex then the other one alt M merge at last click this one this one alt M merge at last this one, this one, merge it last. This one. Okay. This one. This one. So I've made this cuts, uh, this cut. Now I have to make another cut somewhere here iPhone is something like this you see so this cut for the speaker in a small hole I go here um, control R okay. control tab face mode I select these two together press E press K press S and I bring it like this okay then I click this one right click press E press K press S like this I click subdivide control tab vertex mode oh control tab face select I delete these two faces Control tab vertex. I delete this one. Um, I select this. All these periphery vertexes by Alt 
right click uh, this is the, this is the uh, perspective mode you see here so I have to change it to ortho so I press press 5 on the numpad or FN5 in laptops bring it here um, shift s cursor to uh, selection center 3d cursor uh, now you can see the 3d cursor here uh, I now I again this is this is tabbing you know tab edit mode object mode edit mode so right now I press shift a I select circle uh, make it 8 enter make it small like this is it as big as this yeah so I make it bigger now I click this one and this one alt M 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 So now you see uh, the top panel is ready now I can choose the perspective mode and, uh, now I can make some space for the screen Control R screen would start somewhere from here press A control R somewhere from here now control tab face this 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 press E backspace uh, press E and then press escape um, then press S scale it down a bit scale it up on the y axis S and then press Y okay click the mouse button now take it little down press E and move the mouse little bit again press E and then again take the mouse little bit and press the left mouse button okay now you can go into subsurf mode subdivision surfaces make it 2 3 okay. now um, this shouldn't be uh, the screen shouldn't be like this so what, what we'll do is make more loops to make it straight press tab press A deselect all control tab vertex control R left click slide the mouse up till this point and then left click control R left click again left click now this panel is ready ok uh, we'll do some quick work now as I said I don't have I have just 5 minutes left now uh, tab zoom in just click you know just hold the control uh, the alt key and right click and it selects immediately the periphery vertexes um, press E press escape pull this down ok and uh, again ok I can I can go into the see through mode by pressing the Z key this is Z key Z so I see the the all the vertices are selected I have to just join them so that you know I it's not a see through kind of situation so what I do is I again press E press S and 0 enter alt M enter um, now press A deselect all control R now you get this circle press left mouse button move it little up and then press left mouse button ok so you see you have made it like this nice neat and clean button space same way here I'll just show you this one alt and right click E 
escape take it down e s 0 enter alt m enter e for deselecting everything control r left click take it up left click okay i'll quickly make this button tab con uh, and then alt right click shift d to duplicate bring it up press p enter to make this set as a separate object tab e escape pull the arrow press e s 0 enter alt m enter same way alt right click select the loop down below e s 0 enter alt m enter so the the, the button is button has been created press a control r take this loop up control r take this loop like this choose this vertex hold the okay so now you are ready to control now you can either in the object mode you can take it down or in the uh, edit mode also but remember in the edit mode if you are taking it down make sure all the vertices are selected press a select them all all of them are orange now take it down otherwise part of them will be remaining up and part of them will go down you see this much is ready i'll stop the tutorial here i'll continue the next one bye